Uh, what were some resources you used to study? Um, so there's actually pretty terrible resources out there for <laughs> game design specifically mm -hmm. because you know you have to learn like 3D vector math, you have to learn low like memory management in C++, which is not stuff that like you typically have to do for like general software engineering. Mm -hmm. um, so I had done it in the past. So in my game design program, I had built an, a, a, a game engine just because I knew I wanted to learn the experience. So that was a big thing. Um, but in terms of ways, the resources in particular that I used to prep, um, uh, I will, I'll have to share the, the actual resources with you all afterward, but there was um, a, a textbook that I um, used, something along the lines of like game development, you know, how to you know, make a game. I don't remember the name of it, but there was essentially a textbook I had that went over broad game development practices. Um, and like patterns and things like that. I did a physics, a game physics book. You know, I went on Glassdoor to look up examples of interview questions. Um, and then I used my network again. I had, you know, through, I think two people primarily who I did practice interviews with regularly who mm -hmm. were both in the gaming industry who helped me, you know, get through it. So I was trying to hit it from all angles. Um, I regularly was working on games on the side, so it wasn't like this was like new to me. Um, I, you know, was working when I was applying. I was working on an indie game at the time um, in Unity, and I was actively learning uh, Unreal at the time. So there was like a ton of different things I was trying to do. To Did you think your computer science, the classes you learned at school about computer science, helped you out while learning all of this? So absolutely, I think. You know, one thing you have to know is like once you, you know, know the basics of computer science, you you can, you know, you can build off of that, right? So if you know the basics, then you're already like in a very good place, um, and it's just a matter of, you know, spending some extra time going into that area. So I think the only difference with um, game design that I set think sets it apart from most of like any other specific, you know, like back end or front end is again it's like pretty like mathematics heavy like vector math is a real thing <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah um so you do have to understand like 3d like physics and stuff like that